you doing well I hope today today's the day apartment tour I'm so excited to show you around my LA apartment before we get started I just wanted to sit down and explain sit down words I wanted to sit down and explain um, a little bit about my design choices because most of the things in the apartment are vintage so that means that I can't just like link below to this you know Ikea item when I was looking for an apartment in LA I wanted um, something so different to New York. I had a pre-war and um, I was super into um, Mr. Dream Modern. I come to LA apartment hunt and fell immediately in love, immediately in love with Spanish style, you know, older looking apartments. Of course, the girl has a type. She has a type. I'm going to show you around, show you some of my favorite things and talk to you a little bit about um, how I source things, where I'm looking. I will go to the depths of the earth to find the perfect piece. I will order it from anywhere. I'm that person. So in the end, I think that, um, you know, not rushing to decorate the apartment and not just filling up my space with things to fill the space was the best thing for me. And it's probably a good idea if you're decorating to just be thoughtful, take the time and find the things you really want because you'll be so much happier once it's all finished, even if it's I don't know, seven months later. All right, let's get started. Welcome to my place. Dressed up for you guys. I feel like I'm having company over. Uh, we're going to start in the living room because... I live mostly in the living room. I'm one of those people. The first thing I did when I um, got this apartment was immediately go look for a sofa. I went to find the sofa because I didn't want to spend weeks and weeks waiting for it. And I also didn't want to spend weeks and weeks sitting on the floor. So got a sofa. Um, I ended up getting it custom from this place called uh, Jones, the Joneses uh, in Beverly Hills. They they're amazing. It took nine days to make it. It was here. The sofa was already like on the floor. I was just basically able to like customize like what color I want and what I want inside it. So that was super exciting. And then I just kind of built from there. The number one thing I had in mind when I was decorating is that I was obsessed with the now like popping 80s vibe. It wasn't popping eight months ago. It was like Burgeoning, you know, we were just getting into it, but I wanted at first Miami Vice and like Golden Girls, which it is a little bit, but um, I think it's better kind of like a mix. I feel like I found a happy like medium um, between all of that 80s madness. Uh, so I, after I got the sofa, I started thinking about what other pieces I wanted, and then I immediately started to look for vintage shops, thrift stores, flea markets in LA, and I found some really good stuff. So right at my entry, I have a piece of art. Um, this isn't thrifted or vintage, it's actually from Anthropology because they have some really good prints and I like how they frame. The, the framing looks really high quality. Um, so I have this cool woman here. I like to imagine she's some dope, I don't know, aristocratic black lady thriving back in the day. Then I have this bench that I got from uh, this thrift market thing that I found in Venice um, called name in the description box below can't remember but uh i found this place it's like stalls of vintage furniture it's iconic it's amazing i will definitely put it below but i can't think of it right now but it's always kind of cool to have seating right at the door right off the door i have this amazing bookshelf which um is so the spanish style i just love it because it doesn't look anything like new york city and filling this has been challenging i'm not the best at shelving um but i've had a little help i my prized possession is this piece here. I cannot explain how much I love. This is a Dan Murphy piece from, I think, 1973. I stole it from my father. When I was recently in Philadelphia, I was like, Daddy, can I take this? And he goes, yeah. The bookshelf is just filled with other fun knickknacks that I love, like to look at. Um, a lot of them have special meaning and then some of them are just aesthetically pleasing. The acrylic table is also vintage. I found this at um, Long Beach Flea. That is one of the best flea markets here in LA. I cannot get enough of that thing, that place. This is probably the second thing that I found after the sofa. 
and it was such a steal I couldn't believe like what I paid for it the lamp is sourced from an online like right now there's a trend of like Instagram like sellers and there's all these dope mostly female businesses that are sourcing vintage things they're thrifting they're finding pieces and they're selling them online it's this art deco woman curved lamp situation and she's marbled and I I love it Another early acquisition is this uh, Burl table. I got this from Pop Up Home. My friend Trish is an icon. She's one of the dopest women. She's also a New York expat. I don't even know if you call it that when it's in the same country, but she's a New Yorker living in LA as well. Um, so I got this there. The um, shell lamp is something that is so special. This is the time, if you follow me and you're not new here for the video, that my sister and I went thrifting and Carla had an allergy attack in the thrift store and was like so upset at me, but I was like, I got a bomb lamp, totally worth it. That's the lamp. You guys are gonna be happy. Kelly, you're so annoying. Nothing is linked directly below. <laughs> the mirror is linked directly below. So many people have asked about this mirror. It is an Amazon purchase. Um, I love how it's impactful, like you get your full body vibes, but it's not like intrusive to the room. And it's also just like this thin gold frame um, that I think would work in so many different styles of rooms. So even if your style isn't this style and you just wanna do kind of like mid-century or super modern, I feel like it'll just work anywhere. A New Yorker with a dining room. I don't know how to act. Forgive the future behavior in this video because this Manhattan girl has a dining room. Reason enough to move to LA. Another exciting mass market moment, my table. I found this table at Wayfair. I knew that I wanted a big white dining table. There was one on CB2, I'm gonna link it because if you have room for this table, someone needs to get it. It's like a surfboard, it's concrete, it's iconic like, that was a table that I had in mind. This worked out even better. Um, I did find these chairs also at Pop Up Home and um, which they ship, I think, internationally. So if there's stuff that you see on any of the like IG Instagrams that I link, you can totally ship them to wherever you are. But these like Italian 1980s chairs are probably my favorite thing in the entire apartment. They're just, they're iconic. I found this vintage bowl online as well, somewhere in my interweb searching, and I just love this like 80s pastel sketching, etchy, swirly do situation. Um, it reminds me of waves, it's super cool. Lots of things you can put in a bowl, people. I chose lemons. Another item sort of absconded from my parents' home in Philly. Um, my mom gifted me this, and so I love it. It's near and dear to my heart. She like bought this in the 80s and like framed it and did a whole you know made it a vibe but it was a poster that she just loved and so I'm like really excited that it's in my home too. Probably my one and only home goods thing that I own um, but I found this at home goods in Philly and I, I think I was shopping with sister and we drove it back to New York and so I brought this from New York it's such a vibe this round frameless mirror just totally lends to all of the 80s this happening in here and uh, it's, it's the best thing ever. It is functional. It's very cute, but it is narrow, but it's deep. Highlights include this cabinet, which contains washer and dryer. Um, I love my picture window that has like plants living inside. It's a good like vibe for the, um, the kitchen, but also a little bit of privacy. There's a really big pantry in here and um, I have a couple of cute knickknacks that I think, you know, lend to the vibe. Welcome to my boudoir, this is my bedroom. Um, I really, really, really love it in here. I have changed my ways since New York City. I basically, one, don't have a TV in here and it makes a huge difference. And I, two, don't do work in here. I used to like sleep with my laptop in Manhattan and that was toxic and poisonous. And now that I don't do that, this is my sanctuary. This guy right here is another score from Long Beach Flea. Um, I saw a guy with a van selling artwork and I spotted this 
made a beeline toward him and just screamed mine and threw money and ran away. Like it was a scene, but this artwork set the tone from the room. It's just this really cool, like colorful watercolor sketchy vibes of not sketchy like bad but like actual sketches <laughs> of chubby women like lounging about just living their best lives and I love it. This is from CB2 totally will link it below it's actually a desk but I thought it would make for such a sick vanity I think I saw um kind of someone do something similar on Instagram and I was like wow that's perfect and it's fit in this space perfectly the mirror is also from CB2 this mirror I think is from Target and then I put like one of these little lazy Susan spindly things up here um and then this is flanked by these really cool vintage bust I stuttered vintage bust um that I got and this is another vintage like flower vase that I had um from New York and then just some books for a vibe another vintage seat you guys are gonna get so tired of me saying the word benches, I'm sorry, but it is. Uh, and I love these waterfall benches. They do modern ones, but I feel like they're never as cool as the old ones. Super comfy bed is like the most important thing to me. It just is like I have to sleep well. This mattress, I've talked about it before, is from Big Fig. It's a mattress company that basically um, creates mattresses for heavier bodies, so it's just super, um, sturdy I guess there's a lot of like technology so it's firm and soft it's cradling it's it's a really amazing bed um the bedding is from Parachute Home it's one of their like I think it's called Venice but it's this really cool washed um sateen paracoli mix kind of vibe they have it in a few colors I really like this pink and of course the, the stunner the stunner of the room this fan that I found on urbanoutfitters.com. Shocker. I know. I was shocked too, but it's good and it's really inexpensive. It's just a fun um, way to display something over your bed. It's art-like, but it's not artwork. I don't know. It's just, I really, really like this and a lot of people have been a fan of it. So if you're interested, I think that's still available too. This baby is from Etsy. Um, some woman in I think Florida was selling it and I was googling very specifically like wicker tall boy 30 inches I mean I couldn't have been more specific and when this popped up I was like wow god look at look at god paying attention to my small requests you know um this is a frame that I've had for a while found this thrifting I think it was like three bucks or something magical and then I just added in some artwork for a vibe and then over in the corner I used two lucite shelves because I didn't have a lot of space but I needed some function over there um and I used those two lucite shelves I think they're from container store and I just had living on it this iconic lamp another iconic lamp I found online from a vintage seller um again it's super art deco super 80s and I absolutely think it's gorgeous I'm gonna take you inside my small bathroom. Um, I'm not gonna go in there with you because we don't need to go in the bathroom together, you guys. Come on, get serious. But um, my favorite things in the bathroom are my shower curtain. There's like this weird cursive print that says send nudes because I'm a toddler and that's my sense of humor. I also have a really fun rug from Cold Picnic and a little vintage bamboo shelfy situation that I thrifted. Um, I'm using one of those like um refrigerators i think it's supposed to be for like sodas and stuff like that but um everyone now is using them for beauty products so i have one of those that's pretty much it shower toilet sink standard bathroom behavior thank you for coming over i hope you enjoy the apartment tour um if you're interested in like what's in my closets and getting a little nosy i have a linen closet that is doubling as a beauty closet and then i have three other closets that I keep in my clothes in. If you want another video, let me know in the comments below. I will do that for you. Um, again, I'll link what I can below. And I'm also gonna share some of my favorite resources for shopping, vintage or thrifting and all that fun stuff. Local places in LA, as well as places that deliver worldwide or countrywide, whatever it may be. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you, mean it. Bye.